So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever you hit it with the black light. Dark space. Hit the light, babe. That's crazy, bro. That's, that lights up wild. I'm looking at the bottom of the shoe. Just charge it up with the black light. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, KFY. It's Joe. Back at it again with another dope video. It's been a minute since y'all have seen me unboxing a pair of sneakers. But today we're going to be unboxing something unreleased and one of the most hype of the year. This sneaker is highly anticipated and will sell out immediately. Most people will not get a chance to get this sneaker for retail. Unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be paying resale for this thing due to supply and demand. Now, before we even get this video started, I want to give a special shout out to Ledger's Boutique for letting me take this pair home to show you guys the early visuals of this sneaker. It is the Jordan 6 Travis Scott's. Now before we even get to start talking about the sneaker, I just want to talk about the sneaker convention coming up May 29th, the Kicks for Your Soul sneaker convention. As you guys see, I'm over here wearing the merch. We will be in Orlando, Florida, the hometown, on May 29th at the Sheraton Orlando Hotel North from 12 to 6 p.m. There's going to be tons of vendors in the building, tons of buyers in the building. Your favorite YouTube celebrities will be in the building as well, so make sure if y'all are in the Florida area, come and pull through from May 29th, show some support for Kicks for Your Soul. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about this. As I said, y'all are excited. The reason why y'all clicked on the video, the Travis Scott Jordan 6s. Once again, shout out to Legend Boutique for letting me show you guys the early look. This is a size 10 and a half, I believe. Yes, this is a size 10 and a half, Travis Scott Jordan 6, the correct colorway on these things. It's gonna be British, khaki, bright chrism. There's a size tag right over there. Now, as you guys can see, you do have the Travis Scott smiley face. You got the Jumpman logo on a box, the tag, move it around to the front. You got Cactus Jack. On the other side, same thing, the Air Jordan logo. You got the smiley Travis Scott logo right there. And on the other side of the box is just Cactus Jack. The bottom and in the front of the box, the Jumpman logo. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. You got all red on the box. You got the sticker in the corner over there. All red inner liner. As you can see, as you pull it up, you have the Travis Scott dust bag and that brown khaki colorway. On one side, it does have the Cactus Jack logo. On the other side, it is the Jumpman logo. Dust bag for the shoe. This thing is huge, I'm not gonna lie. For a size 10 and a half, this dust bag can probably fit up to a size 15 or something like that. But this is dope, I'll just use this thing as a backpack. I mean, come on, who actually uses the dust bag for their shoes? Because I know I don't. But anyway, let's throw that to the side for right now. As you can see, you have the paper. You have like a khaki paper, then you have like a cream paper as well. Pull that over. And you have these sneakers on the inside of the box. Let's go ahead and pull out the left shoe. This thing, the suede on these, feel pretty good. It's a little bit tough, but it's hairy. It's a hairy suede. Let's put that to the side real quick. Let's pull out the other pair. Put that to the side as well. Of course, you have your extra laces. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull out all the paper from the box. You got the sticker. Is there anything else in there? For all you inspector gadgets, if y'all want to see the inside of the box, there it is. That's pretty much it for the box. Let's put that to the side. Let's talk about the left shoe. Now, both shoes are very, very similar, but they do have a little bit of differences in the shoe. Let's go ahead and start off with the bottom of the sneaker. It does have that translucent sole. You have the Jordan Jumpman in that peach orange looking colorway, pinkish. I'm not even sure what color to call that, but it does have Travis Scott in the bottom of the shoe. Got the Travis face right there, and it does say Cactus Jack on the tip of the toe box on the heel on the bottom of the shoe. Now this is right here 3M, so this thing will glow in the dark. I'm sorry, not 3M, glow in the dark. These will glow in the dark, which is crazy. Just like the other Travis 6 is the same exact thing, the green colorway, but this one actually has more of a glow in the dark feature. The tongue also glows in the dark, and the heel tab also glows in the dark. I'm not really a fan of glow in the dark sneakers, but you know what, if it's there, it's there. I can't complain, I can't change it. You know what, now that I actually think about it, I think the lace lock might even glow in the dark too. I'm not really sure. It does have Travis Scott, uh, Cactus Jack on the left of the lace lock. You also have the Jordan symbol on the left of the lace lock as well. It does have that suede on the toe box and all the way around the shoe. Except for the middle, you know where the tongue is. This is like a mesh material. Just basic, just like the previous version. On the inside of the sole, I'm not sure how much you guys can see that, but it does say Cactus Jack on the insole of the left shoe. You know what I missed over here too on the heel? 
On the inside, it has that smiley face Travis Scott icon right there. That was not on the previous sixes on that green one, if I remember. I don't remember seeing that on there. I don't think that's there. So I think that's a new addition inside of this six right here. Um, it does have the uh, pop-out. Oh, look at that. You got the symbol right there as well. You got the symbol for the Cactus Jack smiley face right there. On the inside of the pouch, of course, you have the pouch. You can stash whatever you want to stash in there. You also have the zipper on the other side. This is a new addition. This was not on the other six. A little zipper pouch. You can zip it up, zip it back down. Nike Air on the back of the heel on the left shoe. Let's go ahead and put that one to the side. Let's pull out the right shoe. Now, the right shoe does come attached with the red and the brown laces. So you can go ahead and lace swap them. It comes with the tan. They have the brown and the red for you to swap them out to. I would definitely put the red in there. I think it would hit real nicely. But on the back of the shoe, this is the difference. It does say Cactus Jack. It does not have the Nike Air on the back of the right heel tab of the right shoe. Also, same exact thing. The tongue, the heel tab, and the bottom of the sneaker do glow. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever you hit it with the black light. Dark space. Hit the light, babe. That's crazy, bro. That's, that lights up wild. I mean, look at the bottom of the shoe. Just charge it up with the black light. As you can see, everything glows. That looks crazy right there. You know what I just noticed, too? Look at this. I could have sworn I just saw. I don't know, but that lace lock does, does light up as well. It does glow. Let's hit the other pair to see if it makes any difference. Does that back hit? No. Nah. But y'all can see that looks crazy. Let's hit the other shoe. Look at that. It's already lit up. That's crazy right there. That looks wild. Hit the bottom. And that's what it looks like whenever you hit it with the glow light. The black light. Fire. There we go. Bright as hell. One little feature of the shoe that I did miss, that I did not see up until I hit the, the black light with it, is there's a little Travis Scott symbol on the tongue of the shoe. It's really vague. It's kind of hard to see. I'm not sure how well y'all can see that, but it is there. The lace lock does say Cactus Jack, and it has the Jumpman on the lace lock as well, on the other side. Now on the insole of this shoe, it does have the Nike Air, not the Cactus Jack like the other pair. I believe it had the yeah, Nike Air. Yeah, there you go. It has Cactus Jack on one, and then Nike Air on the other. Same thing, you have the pop-up pocket with the Cactus Jack face and the zipper on the left shoe as well. And inside of the pocket, it does come with these interchangeable lace locks to the orange version instead of if you don't want the, you know, the uh, glow-in-the-dark version. One thing that looks really good too is that translucent air bubble right there with that red colorway. I think that makes the shoe look really, really nice. It's a really small feature on the shoe, a little small detail, but the small details to me Honestly, I think make the most of the shoe. Now, the suede on the shoe is crazy. I'm telling you right now. Super, super hairy. Super fuzzy. Pause. It's a good-looking sneaker. It's definitely going to sell out. Not many people are going to get their hands on this pair for retail. Unfortunately, a lot of us are going to have to pay resale, as I said in the beginning of the video. But I do believe that these are better than the green pair. These have more little details that make the shoe a little bit more different than a regular Jordan 6. Will I be going for a personal pair? Unfortunately not. Jordan 6s are just kind of not my thing. Will I be going for a pair for resale? Yes, I'm going to be going for a pair for resale. If I can cop a pair, why not make money? A lot of y'all might not like that I said that, but you know what? It is what it is. But yeah, man, tell me what you guys think of the Jordan 6 Travis Scott in the comment section down below. Will you guys be going for a pair on release day? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Once again, I want to give a special shout out to Legend Boutique for letting me show you guys the early visuals. And please make sure if y'all are new here to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a beat when I drop a new video. Tickets to the Kicks for Your Soul Sneaker Convention on May 29th will be linked down below in the description. On that note, it's your boy KFY's Joe. I'm out. Peace.